Have you ever thought of quitting alcohol? Well, before you do that, I want to make you aware of Suzanne's story. Suzanne been drinking alcohol for many years and she didn't miss a day when it came to consuming alcohol. One night, she decided to stop alcohol from a bad experience she encountered. The next morning, she made her mind up that she will never touch a sip of alcohol again. Later that day, her hands began to shake. She started to feel sick. She had a bad headache and her anxiety hit the roof. But she was determined that she will never drink alcohol again. On the second day, she woke up shaking and sweating. And later in the day, she began to hallucinate. She began to see, feel and hear things that weren't actually there. But she was determined that she won't touch alcohol again. On the third day, she woke up in hospital. She felt confused and her heart was racing. And her bed was so wet that she thought she wet the bed, but it was from all the sweat that came out of her body. When she tried to ask the doctor a question, she realized that she couldn't speak. The doctor laid her back down and said, you've had a seizure, you've bit your tongue, and that you're lucky to be alive. If you heavily drink alcohol for weeks, months, or years, you may experience both mental and physical problems. When you stop or you seriously cut back on your drink, this is called alcohol withdrawals. Symptoms can vary from mild to serious. If you drink once in a while, then it's unlikely for you to go through withdrawals when you stop. But if you've gone through alcohol withdrawals once, then you're more likely to go through the withdrawals again when you call it quits. So don't try and stop alcohol without the guidance of a professional who can help you count the unit's intake and set up a reduction plan with yourself. The symptoms of alcohol withdrawal range from mild to serious, and that depends on how much you've been drinking and how long for. 